This is the Diamond Mecha Base, and these are all the playable bosses in the game. In this video, I'm going to be showing every single level, how it performs on every single boss, and give my opinion if it's good or not. Now, here's the level 1 Diamond Mecha Base, and you may be asking, how did I get it? This tower is an admin only tower, so only admins have access to it, and the game we're playing is TDS Overture, a fan game. Now, to the stats, the Diamond Mecha Base has a place limit of 4, it has a fire rate of 0.05, does 45 damage per bullet, explosive damage of 10, and a range of 35. It also has 1600 health, taking the number one spot, the most HP spawn unit, where Max Military Base comes in second, with 1500 HP. Now level 0 mecha base looks like normal mecha base with blue slapped all over it, and golden particles. And here it is against Molten Boss, basically taking down half of its HP with only one mecha base. Yep, it's OP. So here is level 1 diamond mecha base. As you can see, it has diamond particles now, and a little gold detail on the part of the base. Now, level 1 has the same exact stats, except it spawns every 25 seconds now. Now, here it is going against Fallen Swordmaster, a boss that has 150,000 HP, and he got in really far until dying near to the end of the base. Now, this is level 2 diamond mecha base. It looks exactly the same as level 1, except the stats are different. To begin, it has a 0.03 fire rate has a damage of 42, explosive damage of 10, and the range is 40. The health of the diamond mecha base went from 1600 to 3700, which is more than double. Here it is going against Fallen King, a boss that has 150,000 health. And as you can see it does pretty good TPS but Fallen King managed to get pretty far into the map. Level 2 also went against Lord Sinister, a Halloween boss, and managed to almost kill us. If only you ignore our base health. Now here is level 3 diamond mecha base. As you can see it looks very different, going from blue to completely silver and blue windows. And the unit also looks different, going from 1 turret to holding 2 turrets, also having minor upgrades to the machine. Now for the stats, Mark 3 has an upgrade cost of 14,000, it has a fire rate of 0.02, he deals 135 damage, 10 damage on explosion, and a range of 60. Now here it is going against Molten Boss, as you can see it completely annihilates him, even though he has 70,000 HP. So we have to put mecha base against a stronger boss, the Fallen King. He has 150,000 HP, and he doesn't even manage to get through halfway of the map. Same thing with Swordmaster, and Lord Sinister, which has 200,000 HP. So we spawn in Void Reaver, which has 700,000 HP, and he only made it just halfway. So we spawn something bigger, Frostbeard, a boss that has 1 million HP. And as you can see, even though Diamond Mecha Base has a ton of DPS, it still manages to get through more than halfway through the map, and almost getting to the end of the map. This means that we have to upgrade. So here is level 4 mecha base. As you can see, compared to level 3, it has more details with a bunch of equipment, wrenches, and random stuff around its garage. Now this is what the unit looks like, and as you can see it looks really cool. Although it looks like normal Mark IV, it is covered in blue, it has also gold particles, and as you can see, the Gatling guns, they got a big upgrade. And I love the ammo that's hanging out the side, it gives a lot of detail. So the stats of Mega Base Mark IV, the fire rate is now 0.02, damage is 220, explosion damage is 10, and range increased to 125. Also, the health is now 25,000, which is insane. And here it is going against Frost Spirit, a boss that has 1 million health, and came from the 2021 Frost Invasion event, and as you can see, it barely even made it halfway. So let's see how it does against the Umbra, a boss from Solar Eclipse 2021 event, also has 1 million HP. And as you can see, even though it has the same HP as Frost Spirit, it didn't even manage to make it that far. So the only way we can manage to challenge the Mark IV Diamond Mecha base is to spawn multiple Umbras. So we started with 2 Umbras, which add up to 2 million HP in total, and a bonus zombie, Ultimate Bra. And these 3 zombies managed to get really far, mostly because the mecha base didn't have hidden detection, so it ignored the Ultimate Bra, which managed the Umbra to get to the very end, and that would have killed us. And as you can see, this guy is just speeding by, then he just dies because the mecha base has so much health. Yeah, 10,000 health left, that would have definitely killed us, especially of those error zombies leaks. 
Now here's the Mark V Mecha Base. As you can see, it had more details than Mark IV. It also looks a little bit bigger, but pretty much looks the same. Now this is what the unit looks like. As you can see, the particles turn into diamond particles. It has more glow features. The armor also got some upgrades, and now has a windshield for protection. It also looks a little bit bigger. Now here are the stats. Fire rate now is 0.1, damage is 520, explosion damage is 10, and the range is 100. Also, the unit's health now is 75,000, which is absolutely crazy. If you want to compare, that's the same amount of health as Molten Boss. Now let's see how Mark V performs against Ultimate Bra, a boss that has 3 million health. And as you can see, it got pretty far until the game ended by accident, but we could already guess that it would have destroyed that thing. Now the last upgrade you guys have been waiting for, this is Diamond Mecha Base Mark VI. Now let's talk about the appearance of this thing. Now as you can see, the tower got a lot bigger. It's now two floors tall. It also has diamond particles and also wings on the back. Now here is Diamond Mecha Base in its true and final form. As you can see, the body is completely neon blue, and neon blue wings are added on the back of it. It also has blue lightning particles all over it. This thing is so ugly that it's beautiful. Now the stats of this thing is insane. It has a fire rate of 0 0.05, it does 250 damage, does 10 explosive damage, and has a thousand range. Oh, and I forgot, it just casually has a health of 325,000. If you don't know how much that is, that is basically almost two Falling Kings. And here it is going against Galactabra, and remember, this boss has 3 million health, and it's completely annihilating it. As soon as it exits the ship, it's already half health. And even though Galactabra is a flying zombie, the mecha base is so tall that it could actually reach and hit the Galactabra, and uses its health to destroy the Galactabra. It absolutely annihilated that. Now here it is against 3 of them, and that would be a total of 9 million health the mecha base has to go against. That's one down, two more to go. Oh, my game is crashing I think, what the heck? Oh, never mind, it's back. That was weird. Wait, the second one is almost dead. Wait, we can actually beat this. Okay, there's only one more. I think... We have a chance at this, it's gonna be really close. If it was a longer map, just a little bit longer, I think we would've definitely beaten this easily. Although the mecha base is so OP, it couldn't defeat all three galactic bras. As you can see in the end, there was only one left, and it got to the end. So in my opinion, the diamond mecha base belongs in S tier. I also believe that no average TDS person should have this tower. It is absolutely a game-breaking tower, so unless it's getting nerfed, it shouldn't be released to the public. I would rank it as the number one tower in the game. So, congratulations Diamond Mecha Base.